What's up, y'all? Welcome back. This is part two of Coffee Show and Tell with my Espresso Demi collection. If you missed part one, go back and check it out. If not, just jump in right here and you can check out what kind of cups I have up my sleeve. I'm just kind of showing off cups that have cool logos, cool graphics, or cool memories associated with them. We're going to start this one off with this Cafe Grumpy Nova Point cup. Now, classic tulip shaped Nova Point, and it's a little bit smaller than the ACF tulip shaped cup. The porcelain on it is a little bit thicker. And the dimensions are tinier in just about every way. Other than that, pretty basic Cafe Grumpy logo on the front. I love the Grumpy logo. If you're a skateboarder, you may remember a company called Mad Circle that no longer exists. Well, their logo was kind of like this angry face, angry ball kind of thing, and it reminds me a lot of the Grumpy logo. So that's probably why I like the Grumpy logo so much. Other than that, pretty basic cup, white all the way around, logo on the front, Nova Point on the bottom. I got this cup from my friend Colleen that I used to work with at Ritual. She worked at Grumpy for a while and sent this over to me in a little care package. So thank you so much, Cafe Grumpy, Nova Point. Up next, we got another IPA cup. This is a Ranchilio cup. And I don't remember where I got this one, but I bet that I got it at SIC. The reason I like this cup so much is that the first coffee shop I ever worked at had Ranchilio espresso machines. There were two of them in the store. Don't remember what model they were, but they were manual machines. We would start and stop shots by hand, you know, time them and all that stuff. I don't think the coffee was that good, but we were doing our best. So the Ranchilio stuff has a special place in my heart. I haven't worked on a Ranchilio machine since then, except for the Sylvia home machine, which is super fun to mess with. But yeah, IPA on the bottom, same Ranchilio logo, both sides, green and white, just kind of a classic bowl shaped espresso cup. Ranchilio IPA, pretty fun stuff. This one's super rad. Uh, Astoria cup, gold leaf, made by Clubhouse. I don't have any other Clubhouse espresso cups nor have I ever seen any Clubhouse espresso cups. I feel like I remember hearing about Clubhouse for a brief period of time in like 2006, 2007, and then never heard about Clubhouse again. But this one also got at SIC, basic white tulip shape. It's almost identical to that ACF tulip, and the gold leaf is pretty blingy. Storia logo on the front. I don't think I've ever had espresso out of this cup, so maybe I'd have to do that this week. Drink a little bit, see how it feels, just kind of take in the moment, you know? But yeah, Astoria Clubhouse Cup, gold leaf, baby, all day. Okay, this one is super ridiculous. This is a Coca Rive cup from Brazil made by Schmidt Ceramics. Don't have any other Schmidt cups, never heard of them. And Ryan Brown brought this back from Brazil for me. And I took it in 2011, I think it was, to the USBC and had a bunch of competitors autograph it for me, which everybody gave me shit for and made fun of me for, but I like it, so I'm down with it. And I got a bunch of weird, pretty tight names on here. I got Devin Peaty, Ryan Wilbur signed it larger than everybody else, of course. I got Mike Marquard on here. I got some heavy hitters going on. Classic bowl-shaped cup, Schmidt logo on the bottom, a little bit of gold leaf, got that yellow and green classic Brazilian colors, and I've never had espresso out of this cup. Or I think I had espresso out of it before it got the autographs, but since it's been autographed, it's just kind of been sitting, and I'm probably going to keep it that way. So 2011, USBC, finalists and semi-finalists autographed all this thing, so... How about that for super coffee nerd stuff? All right, these are really cool. This is a blue Terra cup, blue platinum dip, and I have a set of six of these, and I got a set of six cappuccinos as well in trade for a video that I made for them. And I used these during the 2010 USBC season. And the coolest thing that I remember about these is it was a few days before we were gonna leave to Anaheim, which is where the USBC was. We were practicing, and Jared grabs two of these cups and starts doing these weird little rave hand situation with it. And the cups smash together, fall on the ground, and now I've got broken cups on my hand, and I only had enough to just do the competition. So I was like, fuck, dude, what am I gonna do? He's like, sorry. So I called Tara, and they were 
awesome. They sent me four brand new ones. They drop shipped them right to the hotel. So when we got to Anaheim, they were just right there waiting for me. So that was awesome. I barely averted what at the time seemed like a disaster. I picked these because they look awesome, but they were also the smallest espresso cup I could find. So it really, really cradled that single espresso. They're thick ceramic. The dip on the top and the handle is actual platinum and they're just generally badass. I use these all the time still. I still drink a ton of espresso out of these. So these are real fun, a lot of good memories. 2010 was pretty rad and Terra Cup Blue is coming at you. All right, this is the newest cup in this whole collection and it's an espresso parts demi and I got it at Bird Rock Coffee Roasters in San Diego. We were in San Diego for a couple days and I went to Bird Rock. This is the one in the Bird Rock neighborhood by the beach and I just had such a good time at the shop and the vibes were just so good that I had to buy this espresso cup to just kind of remember the whole situation. It was really friendly customers. You could smell the ocean. Everybody was talking to each other. There was just a real awesome neighborhood vibe. I had good coffee, friendly baristas. It was just kind of kick ass all the way around. So normal tulip shape, nothing too crazy about it. Espresso parts logo on the bottom. Bird Rock little, they got their I don't know if it's like a Westie van or some kind of van with a surfboard on top. Really fun, playful logo. And yeah, Bird Rock, awesome. If you're in SD, you gotta go check them out. All right, this is maybe my favorite cup of all time and has a super cool story attached to it. So it's an ACF super wide mouth tulip. You can see the flare on this thing is insane. Volumetrically, it's not any bigger than that standard tulip shape. It's just a lot squattier. So it's really fun to pour macchiatos. You can get crazy wide latte art patterns going on inside of it. And it's really cool to drink espresso out of too because you can just get your nose buried in the whole thing. The story associated with this cup is super cool. So back in the day at the USBC, when a competitor was done, you were allowed to kind of bum rush the stage. Everyone in the crowd would just go up, crowd the machine, and try to get as many espressos from whoever competed as they could. So someone was done, I can't remember who it was, we all bum rushed the stage and we're drinking coffee and I ended up drinking espresso out of a cup that was exactly like this and I had never seen it before. And I was just tripping out because I love stuff like this. It was just so unique and rad. And I was like, dude, this is the cup. Does anybody know where you get these? How do you find this? And nobody knew. So drank the espresso, gave the cup back, high-fived them, went on. A couple years later, someone came up to me at another SCAA and said, hey man, I got a present for you. I was like, okay, let's check it out. He pulls out of his bag this cup. And he said, I remember you drank out of this cup. You said you really loved it. You've never seen one before. Well, I found this and I want to give it to you. And I was just totally blown away that someone would remember that I even said that. And two, when they found something that's this cool, they would just give it to me. So this cup is one of my favorites, if not the favorite cup I have, just because it shows that sense of community and specialty coffee, that sense of gratitude, and I love what this represents. And I use this cup all the time. I drink a ton of espresso out of it. It's kind of like my go-to cup. Sometimes I'll stick it in my bag for weeks on end and I'll take it to work or I'll take it to different cafes and be annoying and ask them to pull me a shot into this cup because I'm just that guy sometimes. But I love it. ACF, wide mouth, flared tulip, super fun cup. Uh, if you find one of these, let me know. Maybe I'll buy it off you. And yeah. That's it, this thing's kick ass. All right, y'all, I hope you enjoyed taking a peek inside my Demi Cup collection. Like I said, I got a ton more cups than these, but they're just kind of plain or don't have really cool stories associated with them. So these are the ones that I thought were the most fun. So hope you guys have a great day and keep it real on that coffee nerd tip and I'll be seeing you soon. Peace.